The human world is made one. All the countries are losing their distance every day, their boundaries not offering the same resistance as they did in the past age. Politicians struggle to exploit this great fact and wrangle about establishing trade relationships. But my mission is to urge for a worldwide commerce of heart and mind, sympathy and understanding, and never to allow this sublime opportunity to be sold in the slave markets for the cheap price of individual profits or be shattered away by the unholy competition in mutual destructiveness. So now this Mahasaraswati principle is awakened within us and we have to read and see the subtle side of uh, this growth of thought, how it grew up and how it became subtler and subtler and how so many people in the world have contributed to it. So many artists, so many musicians and uh, so many, you can say, writers who have really contributed to the central path of Sushumna. Because they became realized souls, they were realized souls, some were born and some became, and then they completely uh, wrote about the yoga. For example, Rabindranath Tagore, in the beginning he writes, how, when will I meet you, my friend, and all that, what you call the separation song, we got a yoga. And then, after some time, Suddenly he gets his realization because he becomes subtler and subtler and subtler. Then he writes uh, about uh, his meeting, his meeting the spirit, and he writes about it. So these things work out in such a manner for some people that by their subtleties they arrive at a point of realization.